Kaflavik International Airport Icelandic, Kaflavikarflugvlor IATA, KEF, ICAO, BIKF, also known as Reykjavik Kaflavik Airport, is the largest airport in Iceland and the country's main hub for international transportation. The airport is 1.7 nautical miles 3.1 kilometers, 2.0 miles west of Kaflavik and 50 kilometers 31 miles southwest of Reykjavik. The airport has three runways, two of which are in use, and the airport area is about 25 square kilometers (9.7 square miles). Most international journeys to or from Iceland pass through this airport. The main carriers at Kaflavik are Iceland Air and Wow Air, each of which has the airport as its main hub. The airport is almost exclusively used for international flights. Most domestic flights use Reykjavik Airport, which lies 3 kilometers (1.9 miles) from Reykjavik city center, although seasonal flights from Akureyri fly to Kaflavik. Kaflavik Airport is operated by Isavia, a government enterprise. Topic: History Early years Originally, the airport was built by the United States military during World War II, as a replacement for a small British landing strip at Gurr to the north. It consisted of two separate two-runway airfields, built simultaneously just four kilometers apart. Patterson Field in the southeast opened in 1942 despite being partly incomplete. It was named after a young pilot who died in Iceland. Meeks Field to the northwest opened on March 23, 1943. It was named after another young pilot, George Meeks, who died on the Reykjavik airfield. Patterson Field was closed after the war, but Meeks Field and the adjoining structures were returned to Iceland's control and were renamed Naval Air Station Kaflavik, for the nearby town of Kaflavik. In 1951, the U.S. military returned to the airport under a defense agreement between Iceland and the U.S. signed on 5 May 1951. Topic. Development since the 1950s With the re-establishment of the military air base at Kaflavik during the 1950s, the air terminal found itself in the middle of a secure military zone. Travelers had to pass through military checkpoints to reach their flights, until 1987, when the civilian terminal was relocated. The presence of foreign military forces in Iceland under the NATO-sponsored Iceland U.S. Defense Agreement of 1951 was controversial in Iceland, which had no indigenous military forces other than the Icelandic Coast Guard. During the 1960s and 1970s, rallies were held to protest the U.S. military presence in Iceland and in particular at Kaflavik, and every year protesters walked the 50 kilometers 31 miles road from Reykjavik to Kaflavik and chanted, Island er NATO, herin Bert, literally, Iceland out of NATO, the military away. The protests were not effective. One of the participants was Vigdís Finnbogadóttir, who later became the first female president of Iceland. The former agreed military area at Kaflavik was redesignated Airport Security and Development Area. Under the supervision of the Kaflavik International Airport Limited, established the 1st of January 2009, the Icelandic Coast Guard and the Kaflavik Airport Development Corporation (Kadeco), respectively. The Coast Guard maintains hangars for military aircraft as well as ammunition depots, air defense radars and other military equipment for national defense. The former military encampment area US. Naval Air Station Kaflavik being developed by Kadeco has been named Asbru to reflect its new role. The airport is in the little village named Sangari, but the runway leads to Kaflavik, the two 3,000-meter-long and 61-meter-wide runways are large enough to support NASA's Space Shuttle as well as the Antonov and 225. On 29 June 1999, Concorde GBOAA flew from Heathrow Airport to Reykjavik, Kaflavik Airport. The Concorde had been there earlier. The airport is also an important emergency landing runway for large aircraft in transatlantic operation in the ETOPS system, which requires aircraft to always have less than a certain distance from a suitable landing site. For many two-engine aircraft this is two or three hours with malfunction in one engine, so crossing the Atlantic Ocean would not have been possible for many two-engine aircraft if this airport had not existed.
Topic: Facilities. The terminal is named after Leif Eriksson, who was the first European to arrive in North America. Flugsto Leif Eriksson R. Leif Eriksson Air Terminal. It was opened in April 1987 and separated the airport's civil traffic from the military base. It was later extended with the opening of the South Building in 2001 not a separate terminal to comply with the requirements of the Schengen Agreement. The North Building was later enlarged and finished in 2007. The terminal has duty-free stores in the departure and arrival lounges. In 2016, the current terminal was expanded. The expansion added seven gates. There are also plans to add a third runway. Topic: Airlines and destinations. Topic: Passenger. Although the population of Iceland is only about 350,000, there are scheduled flights to and from numerous locations across North America and Europe. The largest carrier operating out of Keflavik is Icelandair. On 23 October 2012 WOW Air acquired Iceland Express making it the second largest Icelandic carrier and the second largest at Keflavik. The airport only handles international flights except for flights to Akureyri in connection with certain Air Iceland Connect flights to Greenland. Domestic flights and flights to Greenland are operated from Reykjavik's domestic airport. The following airlines operate regular scheduled and charter services to and from Keflavik. Topic: Cargo. Topic: Statistics. Topic: Busiest destinations. Topic: Passenger numbers. Topic: Access. Transport between the airport and downtown Reykjavik is 50 kilometers 31 miles away on Route 41, which opened in 2008. Buses are operated by Airport Express, Flybus, and Strato BS to Reykjavik. Taxis are available outside the terminal. Rental cars are available from various companies. Iceland has no railways but a connection from the airport to Reykjavik is variously discussed as a potential high-speed rail project. Accidents and incidents On 21 July 2013, a Russian Suhoi Superjet 100 airliner, prototype aircraft 97005, made a belly landing during a test flight. The cause was a crew mistake due to fatigue. They operated the plane manually in order to simulate failures. On 28 April 2017, a Primera Air Boeing 737-800 skidded off an icy runway. <laughs> 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 <la